drop. There, that's real balance and poise. The teamwork we're watching represents one of many ways to build balance and poise, along with skill, strength, and general physical fitness. And there are other things to be gained from this sort of activity. And to find out what they are, let's meet some of the members of this group. This is Ernie Allen. Note the well-developed body. No surplus of soft fat. Here's Hal Thompson. Notice his alertness, his bright interest. And meet Jean Taylor. She's a living example of poise and confidence. Anyone in the acrobatics club could tell us a story of how much he has gained from it. But we'll concentrate on these three. Ernie, and Jean, and Hal. First, Ernie. A year or so ago, Ernie was in a rundown condition. He always seemed to have a cold or sore throat. Any sickness that was going the rounds was bound to get Ernie. And sometimes there were more serious illnesses. Finally, as Ernie was recovering from this one, the doctor suggested a three-point program for health. Sleep, regular rest, right eating, a sound, balanced diet, and exercise when Ernie felt stronger. Ernie's instructor gave him the cues. Don't overtire. And while Ernie built himself up for the time when he could actually play basketball, he was learning the skills of the game. As time passed and Ernie grew stronger, he increased his daily quota of activity. And it's important that it be regular. And Ernie tried some exercises to supplement his sports program. Here's one to build up those abdominal muscles. It wasn't long before Ernie began to feel the benefits of his regular exercise. A little exercise every day. Here's a trunk stretching exercise to strengthen the nut muscles. See how the hips act as a pivot. Ernie still has a cold now and then, but now that he's stronger, he can shake off illnesses more readily. Ernie found that he could build good health and enjoy it. And certainly everyone here has sound health. Exercise builds good health. What about Jean Taylor? What's her story? We've remarked on Jean's poise and self-confidence, but not so long ago, Jean felt lethargic and awkward. And feeling awkward, well, let's see what happens. Yes, Jean was pretty shy. Jean wondered if she could do something to make friends easier. A couple of days later, she was still wondering. And then she saw one way other people make friends. That's right, engage in sports. But no, Jean wouldn't dare. She'd be so clumsy and awkward. But the point is, of course, that you have to learn how to play. Jean thought she might try it. Maybe once she learned the skills of the game, she would gain poise and self-confidence. So Jean finally took the big first step and got started with some physical activity. Besides badminton, Jean used simple exercises to build control of her muscles for better posture. Here's a good exercise to develop poise and balance. It's called a tour jeté. Over a period of days, try to increase the number of times you can do this before getting tired. Jean's exercises improved her badminton and her poise. She had started out wanting to meet a few people, to make friends. 
So when Hal invited her to join the acrobatics club, don't think Jean wasn't pleased. Yes, Jean made social contacts and friends. That's another way exercise has helped. Jean's a happier girl, as well as a healthier one. Now, what got Hal started with the acrobatics club? He has plenty of social contacts, and he has enjoyed fairly good health. So what was his need for physical activity? Not long ago, Hal was all work and no play. He took his studies seriously, which is all right, except that he didn't give himself time for anything else. Study, study, study. And then, after school, a job, filing papers. And that work is no more active than studying. So it's not surprising that Hal began to make mistakes. He had a steady diet of thinking, and he had no release for nervous energy. He became tense and irritable. He needed some other activity as an outlet for his emotions. Some activity more strenuous than shutting file drawers and holding books. Hal had to find out for himself that he needed physical activity. Then one day he found this passage. Physical activity can provide excellent release for nervous tensions. Exercise increases the rates of respiration and circulation and serves as a stimulus as well as a release for nervous tension. The pleasing tiredness that follows exercise promotes complete relaxation. Well, to Hal that meant just one thing. He determined to have a program of exercise. So, after talking it over with his physical education instructor, he learned a few exercises that led him to an interest in tumbling. Try this to stretch the muscle fibers and tendons at the back of your knees. Go easy at first, until you feel the stiffness leaving. Hal usually spends some time chinning to strengthen the muscles of his upper arms, shoulders, and back. By taking time for some exercise every day, Hal finds an outlet for his nervous tension and does even better work at his studies and on the job. What of the others of this group? Why are they here? Probably their reasons are similar to Ernie's and Jean's and Hal's reasons. Perhaps they want exercise to increase their strength and endurance and to improve their balance and flexibility. Perhaps they want to establish outlets for their emotional tensions. Perhaps they want to gain poise and self-confidence and meet new friends. Of course, tumbling is only one of the many ways to obtain exercise. Athletic sports involve team play and team competition, and so are especially good ways of building health and releasing emotional tension. These activities bring large groups of muscles into action and train groups of muscles to work together. And milder, less vigorous sports still have the advantage of outdoor activity. And although not everyone can take part in team athletics, Almost anyone can find some source of exercise with little or no equipment. Talk it over with your physical education instructor or your doctor. It's up to you to see that your body gets the activity it needs for better physical and mental health.